Hey guys, and in this video we're going to be looking about how I'm doing my lava bases. So, I've got a new demon army. I said I wasn't going to do a new army for 8th, but you know what? I've got a Thousand Suns army and they need some demon zinch goodness for backup. So, uh, I was going to do some custom um, resin bases, but given the volume of demons that you get in a in a typical army these days, that was going to prove a bit expensive. So I needed a cheap alternative to make some really thematic and uh, demon looking type bases so I went with a lava option. seen a few pictures online of uh, people that have done uh, this kind of basing so I thought I'd give it a go myself and see where we're at. So it's quite simple really, it's little bits of cork and some green stuff balls and that is the the bit that you just apply to the standard 32mm uh, or whatever size base and you can do this across all the different types of bases of any size. Then all you do is prime it white once you have that primed white, it's a case of now two different shades of brown. And I do that around the sort of little lava islands as it were. So I started with sort of a lightish brown and then a mid brown. So I think looking at my colours, it's like a chestnutty brown and a dark flesh brown, uh, a charred type brown. So that was pretty much it. Um, and that just goes around where those islands are. I then blacked in where the actual islands were and that led us to this stage. And once we get to this stage, I've used a bleach bone or a shabti bone type color, and you spray that all over where the balls are and all the way up to sort of enough around the little islands to leave that brown recess detail. Uh, the next stage then was a pure white over the top of where the balls were, just to make sure that's the really light area because that's where the, the lightest natural look of the model is gonna be. The next stage then is a glaze, and for this I've used a uh, a yellow ink mixed with a tiny bit of Tamiya Red Clear to make it, there you go, Tamiya Red Clear, uh, just to give it that warm warm yellow colour and that's just applied all over those bases and where you've got the natural um, gradient of the browns and the yellows and the whites you've already done, you end up with it looking like that. All it was a case of doing then was just a quick dry brush with some granite and some light grey and then a non oil wash over the islands and the final stage to make it really pop is gloss varnishing the liquid magma area, so the red and brown and yellowy parts that you get. And that's where we end up with this stage. So uh, that that's as good as it gets. So here you go, there's just my uh, Dowla Rowney uh, gloss varnish. Just leave that to dry for 24 hours. And the bases are done, uh, just with a black edge trim, just around the edges, voila. And here we go, so that's the first 10 I've done, and I've just stuck my pink horrors straight onto those. And that's how my demon army is going to be based. And my Thousand Suns are going to be based exactly the same. So that it's completely uniform and I can mix in my Zinch Demons into my Thousand Suns in any shape or form. And I will be fielding those for the first time, hopefully, this week in a game that I'll be recording for the channel. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that quick video on how I've done my lava bases. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I shall catch you on the next video.